Hello, dear aspects. Let's have a look together to fog building or further professional and educational programs. In general, the Finance Summit is quite accommodating when it comes to the recognition of training and educational costs as income related expenses. What are we talking about here? We're talking about uh, further education in the practice profession. Uh, if you attend uh, seminars or evening courses, special courses in a new uh, software language, then these are costs that are deductible in German Fortbildung. Retraining from one profession to a new profession. These are obviously costs that you can deduct. Umschulung in German. Studies after the completion of vocational trainings in German Erstausbildung nach der Berufsausbildung and very important for a lot of experts who studied in Germany are master degrees or studies after the completion of the first education in German Zweitbildung. So the cost of an MBA or a master degree could be completely deductible. The condition under which the Finanzamt recognizes these costs as income-related expenses is very simple. These courses must allow you to maintain your professional ability. It must allow you to adapt it, expand it, or even advance it. So this is the bottom line to uh, recognize these costs as income-related expenses. What can you deduct in practice? We're talking about the course and examination fees. In German, Kursgebühren und Prüfungsgebühren travel expenses, uh, to the uh, examination uh, place, uh, to the learning uh, group or working group if you have one. Obviously, uh, the trips to the study facility. These are rising costs. Accommodation cost, uh, for example, in a hotel, if you attend a seminar in another city or you do an exam in another city, these are costs that you can obviously deduct. In German, Übernachtungskosten. For eating and drinking, you can definitely um, use the duck, the flat rate for catering cost. In German, it's called Verpflegungs, Mehraufwendungen pauschal. Work equipment, such as a reference book, dictionary, calculators, writing materials, are also deductible expenses. In German, Lernmittel. For language courses, there is a peculiarity. In fact, the expenses for uh, German or foreign language courses can be claimed as income-related expenses only when the course is tailored to the specific needs of your job. Only if it's proven that the foreign language or the German uh, language class is professionally required. This point affects a lot of experts. In fact, uh, a lot of experts attend German classes after settling down in Germany in order to increase their professional uh, proficiency in the German language. A good example here is the German course for professionals in medicine in order to pass the official technical language of medicine in German, Fachsprachprüfung für Mediziner.